Hi, my name is Javier Escobedo. I am a social science major. I'm working on my single subject teaching credential. Um, and I, for fun, I like to hang out with my family. I like to cook and grill, uh, smoke meat as well. I also like to produce house music. It's kind of my expensive hobby. And um, on this class, uh, I would expect it to provide autonomy more than any other classes because you kind of have to be alert for the assignments throughout the week. Uh, you do get, um, you know, weekly uh, deadlines that you have to kind of pay attention to. So uh, I'm not used to one that's just online. I've taken a synchronous class before, but I'm excited to see what an offline class uh, does. And uh, for the videos, um, I'll, for the first video, it looks like uh, we're going to learn how to collaborate with special education professionals and work with families from diverse backgrounds. Uh, the syllabus is going to have instructions for the weekly assignments and they're uh, going to educate us on the class to provide instructions in an inclusive environment. On uh, the second video, 13 disability categories are autism, deaf blindness, deafness, emotional disturbance, hearing impairment, intellectual disability, multiple disabilities, orthopedic impairment, other health impairment, specific learning disability, speech language impairment, traumatic brain injury, and visual impairment. Um, for videos three and four, uh, the eligibility rules for special education services are they need a documented disability that has an adverse or negative impact on school performance. Uh, two common issues associated with adolescents and disabilities. Uh, people often assume they cannot be treated equally, uh, like they need help for every task and not allow them to be autonomous. Uh, sometimes parents hope and perception can inhibit uh, progress of a person with disabilities. They will not allow you to find other alternatives to overcome this disability and, and overcome their own feelings to accept what a child can do. Um, why is people first language important? Uh, people first language gives the person with a disability an identity that places their personhood before their identity as a disability. It also allows a person to see their tools, such as a wheelchair, to be a tool that gives them more ability instead of something that hinders them. Thank you. Bye-bye.